Hello, and we are live this evening. Just gonna wait for everyone to sign in. Evening, everyone. Hi, Dom. Hi, Andy. How is everyone today? How's everyone's Monday's been? Start of the week. Hope you've all had a great day today. I know a couple of you have had some PTs and you've been fantastic, kicked out of the park. <laughs> Hi Izzy, how are you? How are you Dom? Evening Jimmy. How is everyone? Hi Lou, how is everyone? How are the families? How are we doing tonight? I hope everyone's had a great day. Um, <laughs> the dog is not joining us this evening unless um, he makes a, a run for it again. I, failed in my duties last time keeping the dog under control so <laughs> it's unlikely he will be joining us this evening but a cameo appearance might might be a thing evening neil how are you hi sue hi colin hi becky how's everyone doing this evening hope everyone's had a great start to the week today doing whatever it is that you're doing managed to get some time outside hi carol how are we all so just a quick heads up, obviously, I know I said to a lot of you, um, if you could have a chair, I know not all of you will have known that. Evening, Hilary, how are you? Um, so as you can see, my chair is modelled in the background. If you have or need a quick second to go and get a chair just for you to use, we're going to be using it in sets one and two. Um, not for all of the exercises at all, it's just for a couple of exercises. Um, so don't panic and just obviously where you position it in terms of on your wall or by a wall, just to make sure it's sturdy. Evening, Helen. Um, so if you just need to go and do that quickly, we've got a minute or two just before we start. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to be asking you to climb on the chair, <laughs> it's, it's literally just some exercises, nothing too health and safety wise um, to be concerned about, but just if you can go and get yourself a chair or even a settee might be okay. Um, so yeah, don't, don't overly think about it or stress about it, but if you do need to go get yourself a chair, just take a moment to go and get one. Um, evening Joe. how are you? Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's had a great day. Well done on all the sessions last week. They were, I thought they were amazing sessions last week. So well done guys, that's Nathan, Jimmy and Andy last week. So smashed it out of the park. And I know a lot of you I think have really enjoyed the sessions from last week. So that's great to hear. Evening Jenny, how are we? Evening Steve, assuming that Steve is there, but evening. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's had a great day and well done for smashing out those sessions. Tomorrow the virtual run will go out um, live. Um, so just watch out for that on Facebook and in the WhatsApp groups and Instagram, etc. Um, yeah, just a quick heads up. So just a quick talk about the session this evening. We've got three circuits. We are going to be overloading our legs, arms and our abs. So each circuit will be designed for, one will be designed for our legs, one will be, one will be designed for our arms and shoulders, and the third circuit will be designed for our abs and obliques. Um, so yeah, we're going to overload these muscle groups, working to time. Um, and there'll be a variety of exercises that sort of focus on quads, hamstrings, and our calves as well. So we're focusing on not just like little muscle groups, we're focusing on the big muscle groups um, for our legs, and we're also focusing on our arms and shoulders, um, working for a little bit less time for the arms, because I know some of it will be he wrist heavy, so if any of you have got any wrist injuries, please take it care for. If you need to go onto knuckles, obviously please do, and if you need to just pause, that's absolutely fine. And then for abs, we'll all just smash out abs because I hope we'll share a passion for abs as much as I do. So yeah, we'll just smash those abs out. Okay, so just a quick, um, our quick carry out of, just make sure that you've got space around you, avoiding your chair if you've got your chair ready and waiting, um, and just obviously that your space is free of any obstacles. Um, have water to hand if you would like any, at any point, if you want to pause, take a rest, please do so. We, you know, come back to it if you need to, find, us it, find it on YouTube at some point. You don't have to do the whole workout now and just make sure that you're feeling well in yourself um, and if you've got any injuries please just be mindful because obviously we aren't there to 100% give you a completely different um, or modification so just yeah obviously you're in charge of your own workout guys we're just yeah designing the circuits and, and hoping you follow along and <laughs> you're not just eating your dinner so yeah we are going to crack on now um, I hope everyone's feeling good and we're going to get on with the warm-up so I hope you can all see me. I think that's about right. So if you're just gonna rotate your shoulders backwards all the way up to the ears and rotate round. And 
rotate the shoulders forward. And this time we're going to rotate both arms backwards. So take the arms all the way past the ears, keep them as straight as you can. And rotate forwards, still brushing those biceps past your ears. And we're going to go one arm one way, one arm the other. That's it, still big circles. And then change direction. That's it. And then we're just going to clasp the hands together. Just going to rotate those wrists round. Like I say, we've got an arm circuit coming up, so I'm just going to make sure those wrists feel warm. And just create some wave patterns with your wrists. You just might want to stretch them out. And then turn the hand the other way. That's it, hands on hips. And rotate round, big circles. And the other way. That's it, and we're just going to twist at the trunk. Take that opposite arm to the opposite hip. And then we're just going to increase that by lifting that heel off the floor. That's it, so all the way around. Twist at the trunk. And just stop there, we're just going to rotate the ankle round. Five circles, one direction and five the other. And then change feet. So five ankle rotations one way, five ankle rotations the other. And then we're just gonna jog on the spot. That's it, jog on the spot and start punching forward. And to the sky, to the side and to the ground. And back to the front, to the sky, to the side, and to the ground. That's it, and then breast straight those arms, nice big circles, and then reverse breast stroke. And just relax there. So we're going to do 10 seconds of just fast feet really quickly. In three, two, one, off we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back to jogging. And we're just going to go into heel flicks just at 50%, nice and light on the toes. And into high knees, again at 50%, so they don't have to all be up, all, they don't have to be all the way up to your hips just yet. And then flicking the ankles out from the front. And back to normal jogging. That's it, back to punching out to the front. Up to the sky. Up to the side and down to the ground. And we're gonna do another 10 seconds of fast feet in three, two, one, off we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna go into 100% heel flicks. So leaning forward, heels all the way up to the bum. That's it, nice and light on the feet. So I'm just trying to make a breakthrough. Hang into high knees. <laughs> that was tighter. So knees up to the hips if we can. And heels, tricking the toes out to the front. And just back to normal jogging. So 
we're just going to do a quick Tabata set to finish off the warm up, just to loosen up some of our muscles. So it's just 20 seconds, nothing fast, really familiar exercises. So the first 20 will just be fast feet. In three, two, one, off we go. So fast feet, fast feet. That's it, it's just 20 seconds, just building on that warm up. That's it. Keep going, keep going. We're still building that heart rate. Fast feet, fast feet. Three, two, one, rest there. Now we're just going to do 20 seconds of squat. So you can feet facing forward, nice and deep in three, two, one, off we go. So just squat. That's it, we're just waking those muscles up. Three, two, one, and the next set we're going to do is jumping jacks. So just 20 seconds of jumping jacks, okay? So in three, two, one, off we go, jumping jacks. That's it, make a big star shape. We just keep getting that heart rate high. <laughs> In three, two, one, and rest there. Next one we're going to do is inchworms. So we're just going to walk all the way out into the high plank position and then all the way back in. In three, two, one, off we go. So inchworm, all the way out, all the way in. And that's it. Keep those legs as straight as we can. Yellows, if you want to add a press up, that's fine. In three, two, one, rest there. We've got two more. So this time we've got toe taps. So just touch the toes on the top of the floor. In three, two, one, off we go. Toe taps, toe taps, toe taps. That's it. So on the balls of the feet. That's it, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest there. Last one, just sit ups. So we're just warming the movement up in three, two, one, off we go. So just arms across the body, sit all the way up, shoulder blades from the floor, elbows come up to touching the knees. That's it. Three, two, one, relax there, just onto our feet. That's the Tabata set done. We're just gonna go into leg swings. So just want six on each leg. And that's it. Really, really stretching out that hamstring. You can hear Tiny playing. That's it. So I hope you're all fairly warm after that warm up international international session now. I don't know, who's here? Who's here that I've missed? To make it international. Oh! Hi! <laughs> anyway, um, so um yes, yeah, so we're just gonna crack on the first circuit. The first circuit is based on legs. So we are gonna need our chairs. <laughs> so if you just want to put your chair in a spot that's if you haven't already done so, it's going to be fine. Um, if you need it against the wall, obviously to keep it stable, then that's fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be working for one minute, and then we're going to have a 15 second rest in between. In that 15 second break, I will um, obviously explain or demonstrate the next exercise. And, there we go, just at the timer, sorry. So, evening Esther, how are we? Um, yeah, so we will work for time and then we'll rest for 15 seconds. I'll explain the next exercise and we'll crack on. Your muscles will ache. This, they are meant to be overload circuits. So they are designed to obviously overload your muscles. Your muscles in that group will ache. So apologies in advance, but hopefully you'll feel the benefit. If not today or tomorrow, maybe come Wednesday or Thursday. So everyone, in, so I'll say in position ready. 
you don't need the chair for the first one. The first one is just burpees. Everyone loves a burpee, so you've just, working to time, you've just got good old fashioned burpees, okay? So blues and reds, you don't have to jump. Reds and yellows, it's your choice if you'd like to jump. Um, it doesn't have to be chest down because at the moment we're just focusing on the legs, okay? So everyone in position ready, we're doing them for time. Burpees in three, two, one, off we go. So extend all the way out into that press up position. That's it. Extend all the way out into that high plank position. Big jump, bottoms down and that squat thrust them in. That's it, keep going. That's it, well done. Waking the whole body up with these burpees. You're over halfway. That's it. Keep going. Ooh. 15 seconds. That's it. Keep going. Three, two, one, and rest there. So, your next exercise is just a squat. So, we're going to have feet facing slightly out. So, they're not facing completely forward. They're just off to a little bit of an angle. Squat down, chest up, and back up. Knees don't come in front of the leg. Knees don't come in front of the feet. In three, two, one, off we go. That's it, squeeze the glutes on the way up. That's it, keep the chest up. Oh, I'm out of breath. That's okay. That's it, nice and deep in the squat. That's it, keep going. Keep focusing on that form. That's it, 20 seconds to go, nice and deep. You can tell that we're working for these exercises for quite a long time. But we're not going too fast to compromise form. In three, two, one, and rest there. Next exercise, squat thrust. I know everyone's jumping for joy when I say squat thrust. So in that high plank position, both knees in, both knees out. If you struggle, you can walk in and walk out, or if you really want to, you can do a mountain climber, which is a single leg. Okay, so everyone in position ready. In three, two, one, off we go. So squat thrust, thumbs down. Tucking my t-shirt in. Keep going. Bums in. That's it, so bring the knees in to the elbows. That's it, keep going. You're over halfway, you pleased to know. Just go and collapse into the chair. 
Really, really focus on the lowering down and standing up. Okay, really controlled. In three, two, one, off we go. So, really, really controlled movement. That's it. Still squeeze the glutes when you stand up. That's it. So really, I clearly didn't control myself there. I just fell into the chair. That's it. Keep going. It's a really good stabilising exercise for the ankle, for the knee. It's a really good functional movement. Most of us will stand up and sit down every day. That's it. Keep going. Squeeze. In three, two, one, and rest there. So, as you guessed it, swap legs. So, nice break. Shake that leg out if you need to. You might not have necessarily felt it just yet, but everyone in position ready? In three, two, one, off we go. So, nice and lower to the ground and stand back up. That's it. Squeeze the glutes as you stand. Nice and controlled. On the lower down. And on the stand up. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Well done. Over halfway. Keep the feet facing forward, whatever foot is planted forward. That's it, squeeze. You can hear when I, when I don't control it because the chair is very unforgiving. That's it, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest there. This time, so still using the chair. You're going to put, I'm just going to move the mat, sorry. You're going to put back knee, or back foot, sorry, turned out and under. And you're going to go down into a lunge position. And we're going to hold and lunge and pulse, sorry. Okay? So you're going to lunge and pulse. That's where we're going to stay. Please remember not to have that front knee go over that front foot. There's a fly. Okay? So, when we look down, if you need to take a further step forward with that front foot, please do so, but when you lunge down, we don't want that leading knee to go further forward than the foot. Okay? So, everyone in position ready? Foot onto the, onto the chair or the surface in three, two, one, off we go. So, nice deep lunge, chest up, nice and tall. That's it and pulse. That's it. I'm not going to lie, I can feel it already. <laughs> That's okay. That's it. Keep pulsing. That's it. Well done. Keep going. You are over halfway. I can feel it in both legs if anyone <laughs> is is thinking the same. That's it, well done. 15 seconds. That's it, in three, two, one, and relax there. We're now <laughs> gonna swap legs. If anyone didn't think that that was slightly painful, so, we're going to swap legs. Okay, so, you've got two exercises, that's it. So, that back leg up onto the platform, or the chair. No, I call it a platform. Remember, take a nice long lunge if you need to, so that that foot doesn't come over. So, everyone in position ready? In three, two, one, 
Off we go. That's it, chest up, nice and strong, and pulse. Remember that knee, we don't want it over the front feet. Front feet. We don't want it going over your toes off that front foot. That's it. Really, really lift that chest up. Focus on the point in front of you. So that's head up, shoulders back. That's it, keep going. I can definitely feel the burn. You're over halfway. That's it, keep the chest up. That's it, keep going. That's it, last few seconds. In three, two, one, and rest there. Shake it off. Whew, that was a burner. You've got one exercise, one exercise left. Okay, so, because I think you're all gonna love me. On that spot on the wall, you're gonna move your chair to one side. You are now gonna plant yourself against that wall. <laughs> you're gonna go down to this wall sit position that our quads are really, really thanking us for. And we're gonna raise one calf, so we do a calf raise, single leg, single leg, okay? So we're gonna come down, making sure that we're at a 90 degree angle. Okay, last exercise. Everyone ready? In three, two, one, off we go. So just calf raise. So the feet need to be right under the knees. That's it. Shoulders back up against the wall. You should really feel it in the quads after those lunges. And that's fine. And it might start to shake, and that's also fine. That's it, lift the calf up, up onto the balls of the feet. That's it, make sure you sit nice and low. Keep going. That's it. Last few seconds. Five, three, two, one, and rest there. Shake those legs off. Shake those legs off and get a drink if you need it. How are we doing? Literally dying. Yes, they were my legs too. So how are we all? And that is round one complete. Legs are finished, okay? So, How's everyone finding that? My quads hurt, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, just a quick break before we go into our next circuit. So this time, we're gonna be working to time again. I'm just setting the timer, sorry guys. So, next circuit, arms. Don't we all love arms? So, we're gonna be working to time again. And we're going to do each exercise working to time and we are, legs are done my legs are done too <laughs> but it's a really really good one legs are really really important i'm going to feel that tomorrow as well colin so well worked everyone and um, we will stretch them off later obviously so we're just going to go into our arm circuit and we're going to be working biceps and triceps and a bit of shoulders um like i said earlier please obviously if you've got a wrist injury or you're finding it too much pressure on your um on your hands you can go onto your fists or if you need to press pause or maybe just miss a set, that's absolutely fine. Um, obviously we're doing bodyweight exercises at the moment, so only so many variations that I could personally think of. I'm sure there's probably loads out there and instructors are screaming at me going, there's so much more, but these are the ones that I've got. So anyway, we're gonna crack on, working to time again, ready for the arm circuit, okay? So make sure you've had a drink. Oh, I felt that standing up then. Anyway, so. <laughs> I hope you can all see that. First exercise, there shouldn't be any exercises that you're not familiar with. Um, so I won't necessarily do all the demonstrations, but obviously feel free to drop down to your knees if you don't want to do full press-ups and things like that. So the first exercise is close arm press-ups. So it's hands under the shoulders. And when you lower down, you're coming down and elbows come into the side. And then you push back up from there, keeping that back nice and straight. Like I said, if you need to drop to your knees, it's absolutely fine. 
So, close arm press ups is the first exercise. Everyone in position ready. In three, two, one, off we go. So, close arm press ups. Lower down and press up. If you need to, well, exhale as you push up. Lower down as elbows into the side, come into the ribs. That's it, keep going. That's it, you're halfway. That's it, well done. Hands under the shoulders. Chest down, last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. Next exercise, high to low plank. So, high plank position, drop down, down, up, up. We're gonna engage the core here, so we don't want all the wiggling around with our bodies. We stay nice and tight, engage the glutes, engage the core, and really, really controlled movements as we come up and down. Everyone in position ready? In three, two, one, off we go. So, high to low plank. Place those hands right under those shoulders when we come up. That's it, keep going. Keep thumbs down. That's it, 15 seconds left. That's it, keep going, three, two, one, and rest there. You'll be pleased to know. Next exercise, wide arm press ups. So this time, hands wider than shoulder width. Still facing forward, when you come down, elbows out, and we press back up. Remember, as I said, if you need to drop to knees, that's absolutely fine. Give those arms a shake. Don't worry, they're not all variations of press ups. <laughs> I thought I'd just get these out of the way first. In three, everyone in position ready. In three, two, one, off we go. So wide arm press ups on your toes or on your knees, that's absolutely fine. Chest down, chest down to the ground, and all the way out. Hands still in line with the shoulders, but obviously hands just not under the shoulders. That's it, keep pressing through. Exhale as you push up. That's it, keep going. Last few seconds. Three, two, one, and shake off there. Next exercise. Can you get your chair back, please? So, we're gonna do some tricep dips. You can do these on the floor. If you'd rather not do them on your chair, that's absolutely fine. So, tricep dips. We're gonna have hands. So when you do these, fingers point down towards your feet and towards your bottoms. So fingers facing that way, we don't want to see them turned out or facing the other way. We'd like to see them facing towards your bums and down to your feet. And obviously we lower down, 90 degree angle and back up, okay? Everyone happy? In position ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So tricep dips. If you need to, move your feet in, makes it easier, move your feet out makes it harder, okay? That's it, keep pushing. It can be hard on the wrists. Keep going, I can't see the watch from this way. That's it, keep going. I can't do a single arm tricep, keep going. So got 10 seconds left. This is the last time we'll use the chair. In three, two, one, and rest there. Shake those arms off, shake the wrists off. So we've just got an extended break here, just to allow for our wrists. So just shake them around, give them a good wiggle. That's it. So we're we'll sure just loosening off your wrists. We've only got a couple of exercises left because I can definitely feel my arms working. We're gonna go into a body saw. So you're gonna go into the low plank position. Low plank position, elbows, 
under the shoulders and you're going to push forward and back. So you're working the shoulders. So shoulders come over and back. Okay? So obviously that range of movement is completely determined by you. We want the shoulders coming over the elbows, pause for a second and then back. Okay? So hopefully we'll show you sort of giving your wrists a small break and obviously the plank will help. So everyone in position ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So low plank and forward, pause and back. Forward and back. So just pause as you come out. That's it. That's it. So shoulders over the elbows, shoulders pushed forward and back. Over halfway. That's it. Still squeezing the core. That's it. Keep going. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. So, I know you're all thinking, what else has she got in store? Next exercise. <laughs> We've got Hindu press, so or a shoulder press. So you're gonna go and sit almost a downward dog type position. So bottoms into the air, hands under the shoulders, or a little bit further forward, and you're gonna lower down and back up. Okay, obviously, the higher your bum in the air, I wouldn't say the harder it is, but anyway. Yeah, if you can get your bums higher in the air, obviously it just puts more pressure through the shoulders as opposed to the press up, which can also be more arm related. So yeah, bums higher in the air if we can. So everyone in position ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So bums in the air and lower down and back up. That's it. Keep going. Keep going halfway. Well done. Keep going. Keep going. Last few seconds. Three. Two, one, and rest there. Next exercise, you've got shoulder taps. So, high plank position, you're just going to tap the shoulders, really, really pushing down, so your hands should be under the shoulders. I know this also engages the core, ready for the last circuit, which is abs. So, see the link there? Smooth. Anyway, <laughs> it's obviously been a long Monday for me. Um, high plank position, shoulder taps, and yeah, hands under the shoulders, really working down those shoulders. In three, two, one, off we go. So shoulder taps, keep the body nice and still, nice and controlled. That's it. Well done. Hands under those shoulders. Keep going. That's it, well done. Push down through those arms, nice and tight. That's it, last few seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. <laughs> last exercise is tricep extension. So you can do these in the low plank position on your feet or on your toes. No, it's the same thing, on your feet or, <laughs> or on your knees. So, I'm going to do these on my knees and you're just going to have elbows again under your shoulders, push through the hands and up and down. Okay, keep the back of the core nice and tight and straight, so we're not using the back to lift up, pushing down through the arms and the hands, okay. Everyone in position ready, three, two, one, off we go. So, tricep extension, remember you can do these on your feet, I just Need to work on these a little bit more on my knees first. This is it, the last arm set or last arm exercise before we move on to those abs. That's it. Over halfway. That's it, well done. Squeeze. 
10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. Get yourselves a drink. Take a moment. I'll just turn my oven on for the dinner. <laughs> Evening, Lindsay, how are we? So, have a drink, quickly shake off those arms. How are we all feeling? How's everyone doing? So, we're now gonna move on to the ab circuit. Oh, we're gonna, everything's gonna be dead, but um, that's, that's a good thing sometimes. So we're gonna move on to the ab circuit. We're still working to time. We're still gonna get some rest. I'll explain the exercise, obviously, in the break. Yeah, so that's, that's basically it. There's, I don't think there's any new exercises. Sorry about that. We are bringing a return of the double Ds. I thought everyone would be excited for that. So Jimmy, double Ds are here tonight. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, ouch, Neil, yeah. Arms isn't always a strong point for me, so I thought I'd overload the arms. Um, so yeah, everyone's doing good. I hope that's how you're feeling, feeling great, shaking off those arms. We will obviously stretch at the end. Um, yeah, so enough of me talking. That's not, that's not what we're here for. So we're going to be working to time. Oh, I need to set the timer very quickly. Oh, hang on. So we're working to time. We've got a set of exercises. we go. So the first exercise is a crunch. So we're just going to come all the way out, yellows, arms above the head, all the way in and back out. Reds and blues, you can just have arms in front of you and they can just stay in line with the core. Okay, so we've just got normal crunches to start off with. So, in position ready, three, two, one, off we go. So crunches, yellows, arms up, That's it. Blues and yellow, um, blues and reds, arms down by the side. That's absolutely fine. Yellows, arms up. But eat, eat, you know, equally you can choose where you put your arms. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Keep the heels off the floor for as long as we can. You're over halfway. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. Extend all the way out, all the way in. Three, two, one, and rest there. Next exercise, we've got our side plank and we've got our dips, same. You can do this high or low plank, elbow or hand under the shoulder, and you're going to dip. Okay, so just hip, just sort of hovers above the floor, and then we lift it back up, so we're working the obliques, okay? Everyone in position ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So, dip down, and up. That's it, squeeze and breathe, that's it, keep the body facing the side, that's it, well done, squeeze, that's it, last 10 seconds, five, And relax there. So next exercise, we'll do the other side in a second. You're gonna do two half sits. So half sit up, half sit up, followed by two full sit ups. Okay, so half sits, hands on the thighs, up to the knees. So two half sits and then two full sits. Okay, everyone in position ready in three, two, one, off we go. So two half sit, and then sit all the way up, elbows to knees, and then back into two half sits. Three, 
that's it. So keep the momentum going. Two half sits, two full sit ups. That's it, you're over halfway. Keep the feet planted on the floor. Shoulder blades all the way to the ground. That's it. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. We're now going into the side plank on the other side with the dips. So, in that low plank position, we're going to dip down to the side, dip that hip to the floor, just hovering and back up. I forgot to say last time, if you are struggling, I'm really sorry, you can drop to the knees and do it from here. So if you're struggling in the high plank position or the low plank position, you can drop down, put the knees in line with the body, heels tucked behind you, and we lift from there. Everyone in position ready? Three, two, one, off we go. Jimmy, I've just noticed the time. I'm definitely exceeding 45 minutes. Really sorry. But I got I really got into these circuits this evening, so that's it, keep going. And the next exercise is a favourite, it's the double Ds. Let's go, last 15 seconds. Keep going. Remember, you can drop down to the knees if you need to. Last five. Three, two, one, rest there. So, as I've just said, we're going to double Ds. So, we lay back. Elbows come under our shoulders, so we're in this slightly raised position. Heels come off the floor and we lift up to about just 45 degrees, create D shape and back. The legs come out, create a D, back in and up. We're going to try and hold the lead, obviously we're not going to drop the heels to touch the floor. In three, two, one, off we go. So up, create that D shape and back up. That's it. So we're squeezing the core. Squeeze. That's it. Nice and tight. We're working on these hip flexors as well. Breathe. That's it. Keep going. You're over halfway. That's it, keep going. Last, last 10 seconds. That's it, well done. And stop there, well done. So, next exercise. You've got four mountain climbers at a slow pace. So in that high plank position, you're going knee, knee, four times slow. And then you've got four fast. So four slow, four fast, okay? So, in position ready. In three, two, one, off we go. So four slow, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. And then fast. One, two, three, four. That's it, squeeze the core. That's it, well done. Keep going. You're over halfway. That's it, keep breathing. Keep going, you've got the last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. So, last two exercises. We've got top crunch, bottom crunch. So, 
we're going into that feet planted on the floor creating a 90 degree angle from your heels to your knees and from our knees to our hips and then another 90 degree angle from our hips and our top so first part if we're in this half sit we drop back we come back to that half sit lift the heels up and back okay so it's back up to half sit knees up and back okay so you've got a, sort of a half sit with a bit of a crunch so top crunch bottom crunch hope everyone can understand that bit of coordination as well in three two one off we go so lower the toes to that nice degree angle crunch and it's just heels that touch the floor that's it So there's nothing else, the whole foot doesn't touch, it's just the heels. That's it, keep going. So you stay in that half sit position. That's it, well done. Fifteen seconds. That's it, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest there. You've got one exercise left. For those abs, we've got Russian twists. So yellows, legs out if we can. Make sure the heels off the floor. Reds, we can be in a slightly tucked position with heels off the floor. Blues, if we need to, heels again, that just the heels can be touching the floor. And we're going to take the opposite arm and we really, really twist, okay, over. So it's that opposite arm, we reach the opposite side. In three, two, one, off we go. Twist. That's it. The last few seconds of exercise. And then we're going to stretch. And then we are done. That's it, keep going. Really, really enhance that twist. Keep breathing. That's it, we are over halfway. That's it, keep twisting. You've got 20 seconds of exercise left. That's it, keep going. You have done this, you have smashed the circuit. 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and relax there, guys. That is the circuit complete. Legs, arms, and abs. How are we all feeling? Evening, Sam, how are we? So, give us a shout, let us, let us know how you feel. I know I slightly overran, but I got I got quite into designing these circuits this evening. So uh, I, I, I could have added more if I'm honest. I, I really almost had to cut and there were some sacrifices, some sacrificial exercises that I had to really choose between. So, ouchy abs. Good work, Jenny, good work, Izzy. So yeah, you should be feeling it, either legs, arms or abs are all over. But that's, the, that's, that's okay, we don't mind. So we're gonna go into some stretching, obviously. Um, yeah, we're going to stretch off legs, arms and abs very quickly, but obviously there will be some that you might want to repeat tomorrow or later this evening if, if you, you know, if this isn't long enough. So, I think we just finished with abs. We'll go back to lay, we're going to lay on our tummies. Whew. How lovely. Hands by our shoulders and we're just going to push up. And we're going to push down. I can actually feel my arms just in that little bit of a, in that little bit of push up. So you're going to push through, shoulders away from the ears. If we can, we're just going to push the hips into the ground. Nothing, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, massive. Just push the hips into the ground. That's it. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. That's it. 
And then from there, we're just going to push back. And we're going to push our bottoms all the way down to the heels of our feet. Stretch out that back, the upper shoulders. And that's it. Stretch all the way back. And then we're just going to push forward into that same position again. So down to our tummies. And then push up just to stretch out the abs. My right arm is feeling it more than my left. <laughs> That's it. And then from there, we're just going to come up to all fours and we're just going to round the back. So really, really push that back up to the sky. Really, really round, you can feel it in the upper in the upper shoulders and in the lower back, really, really round. And then just relax. And I'm gonna push up once again, round that back, off we go. So just push through, round the back. Almost push that, tuck that bottom in. That's it, tuck the bottom in, push through the shoulders. And relax there. We're just going to take one leg in front, nice long lunge, chest up if we can, feet facing forward and again we don't want that knee to come over the front foot. But... Andy's smiling at me and I can't figure out why. That's it, nice long lunge. Chest up, feel it into the hip flexor. And then from there, just gonna get the hands down and we're gonna straighten that leg, push the bum back and the stretch should now move to the hamstring, the back of the knee. I'm just gonna stretch. I say I over round, but I mean, I'm not sure what anyone else has got planned tonight. But. That's it. And then just up we come. And we're going to swap legs. Other leg in front. Long lunge. Chest up. I think Andy's laughing at the fact that I may have over run. But that's okay. <laughs> I feel like that's what you've all come to expect of me now. <laughs> and take a stretch back, so lower the chest, onto that heel, bottom back. and just up into knees and then just whilst we're here I'm just going to stretch out so right arm across the body shoulders down from ears turn that thumbs down to the ground and look over the shoulder I hope you've all got lots planned this week lots of fun things outside that's it keep pushing those shoulders away from the ears pull them down and relax there, swap arms. So that's it, either holding below or above the elbow, just not on the elbow joint. Turn the thumbs down and look over the shoulder. I'm not sure what the weather's meant to be, but that's not going to deter anyone. That's it, and just take right arm up. I'm going to stretch up the tricep, just lift that chin off the chest, reach that hand all the way down the back or as far as we can go. And then it's going to lean over to the side. 
and relax there, swap arms. So pull that arm all the way down, chin off the chest, looking up or looking forward. And then lean over to the side. And release there, just up onto our feet. Use the wall if you need to, I'm just going to stretch out the quads. So take the lace part of the shoe, knees together, push the hips and the glutes forward. That's it. Well done to everyone getting out there. I know Hillary's been on some fantastic runs. So is Becky. Becky's been checking out some great destinations. And thanks for all of the recommendations, guys, for where you're suggesting and the best cakes. And swap legs. Pauline, your determination the other day to get Rachel some cake. That must be applauded. That's it. Keep pushing the hips and the glutes forward. Knees together. And relax there. Well done, everyone. So, sorry. Evening, Charlotte. How are we? Sorry I ran over. Um, if you've got any big plans tonight, sorry if I've, you've I've either missed the start of them or you've had to leave early. Um, if you don't have any plans this evening, where else is there to be? So, um, yeah. Hey, everyone had a great session. Um, I enjoyed it and... Just make sure obviously you stretch out because I know we did a lot of focus on some of those really, you know, legs, arms and abs. So if you do need to stretch tomorrow or later this evening, obviously just go back and repeat some of these stretches. All you guys know um, quite a lot of stretches yourselves. So please do take the time just to do that. Um, the virtual run club goes up tomorrow. Well done, Hilary, smashing up those sessions as well. So well done. Well done, Neil. Um, the virtual run club goes up tomorrow. <laughs> Tiger is starting to make his way through. I think he's actually stuck under the dining room table. No, he's removed himself from the table. Um, so yeah, the virtual run club goes out tomorrow in a WhatsApp group on a Facebook and on Instagram. So we're looking forward to that. Um, you guys are all doing amazing at the moment. So well done. Keep pushing out, um, pushing out all the sessions, working as hard as you are. And we look forward to seeing you soon. And if anyone wants any PT sessions, obviously drop us a message. Um, yeah, lots of you are getting involved. Um, and we love seeing you and we love being outside. So um, yeah. Have a great evening, have a great week guys, and next session is Thursday online on Facebook at half past six, and we'll catch up with you in the group. So take care everyone, evening, bye.